Hi guys, in this short tutorial, I want to show you how to move around clips in your timeline without disturbing the magnetic timeline. Um, there's a way to do it, and uh, I know it's very tricky. You want to pull a section of the clip out and put it somewhere else without messing your whole timeline up. Anyway, I'll explain. Let's get into it. All right, so um, we have a current project here I'm working on, and um, I'll just show you the problem first of all. Um, we just say I want to move this clip. Um, we put it somewhere else, like put it up here, and you see what happens. The whole timeline's kind of stuck together. It's kind of lost sync. I'll undo that. Sometimes you have music underneath, under here, and that becomes out of sync. Um, so say I want to put this clip over there. Again, they're sticking together. You don't always want that because you want to keep the timers in place with the music. So how do we get around this? How do we be less destructive to our timeline and cause less pro problems in the future uh, with our project? All right, um, okay, so what we need to do is go to the position tool first, make sure it's in P, because when it's in P, you can move it without disturbing your timeline. Um, so if we lift this up, it is put a slug there instead and the main timeline has stuck stuck into place. So it's, so it's disturbing nothing. And then you've got the option then to delete this blank slug. Um, some people call it a slug. Um, I call it a blank space, actually. It's better. Um, but yeah, you've, uh, you know, that's a way of doing it. Um, you can also hold the tilde key to move things around. It keeps things in place. Um, if you have music, you can move an individual track without moving them both together uh the connected clips as well i believe let's just throw some music in the some music and let's test this and uh show it to you okay um, we're going to disconnect the audio from this and we're going to be still in the position tool you can press p um if we move this it's moving the audio the connected clip with it all right um so it's and it's not moving very easily at all. It's not sticking to a place as well because it's not in a compatible place, right? Uh, what we need to do here is hold the tilde key, all right? What this does, when we click the clip, this separates it from the audio. So then we can position this clip and it leaves a blank space and keeps the audio in place. Um, so if you don't want to move that as well, it's kind of fascinating stuff, right? Um, I'm going to put that back because I don't want to destroy my timeline. So thanks for watching this tutorial. We have many more on the way, so subscribe and hit that like if you find these really interesting. I'm sure you'll learn something. I keep posting uh, little videos, little little bits here and there, you know, when I learn something and I, and I think I can, uh, you know, help you too. So have a great day. See you soon. Peace.